So this is the device, this is the adapter. It's made up uh, uh, from an uh, Arduino mega board. Very much like this one. It's hiding at the bottom. A, a prototype shield, uh, similar to this one. And an ethernet shield which is connected to the network. The prototype shield below uh, contains uh, very few components. Uh, the two HPIB driver chips, um, a, um, a bunch of a, an LSO2 with a bunch of uh, NOR gates and a, a single transistor that drives the parallel pole. pole. Uh, the HPIB bus is, is this flat cable that is connected to the traditional uh, Hewlett Packard HPIB uh, Munster cable and that goes over to the uh, HP86B. Um, in addition to that, as, as a freebie, uh, I connected a, a serial uh, card a small serial adapter uh, which is connected to the second serial bus uh, to the second serial pins of the Mega and these connect to a printer that I got some time ago it's a POS printer it's actually pretty fast I can uh, I can print a program and you will see uh, that it's actually quite a fast uh, printer so um, so I have removed the Ethernet shield to give you a better view of the prototype board um, this is the 162B uh, HPIB uh, driver. This has the commands, the command lines. The one in the middle is uh, drives the data lines. It's the 160A chip. And here we have an LSO2 which has uh, a bunch of NOR gates. And here you, if you can see, uh, let me zoom in, you will see a single transistor and there is a resistor there, a pull-up resistor right next to it. I'll explain what this is used for a little bit later. And this is the uh, the HPIB bus and it, is termina it terminates in one of these connectors um, which is much easier to wire than uh, the original HP uh, Monster. So the wiring diagram here shows the um, one of the two HPIB driver chips. Uh, this has the uh, control lines and this has the data lines. Uh, on this side we have the HPIB connector side and on this side we have the HPIB connector side and on this side are the lines connected to the microprocessor, the Arduino board. So we can see the familiar names, REN, IFC, NOT uh, DAC, NOT RFD, DOV, uh, and or inquiry, attention, SRQ, and so on. These two, the and or inquire and the attention, are of particular interest because they're used for the uh, uh, parallel pole. So if these two lines are both pulled low by the HPIB controller, then all the devices in the bus have to stop driving the bus. So this guy has to stop driving its output lines. And we do that 
by pulling this line called the T line, the P line, sorry, uh, low. And we do that by taking these two lines and passing them uh, through two uh, NOR gates and the output goes to the P. Now, uh, this is, what this does is it doesn't uh, participate in the parallel pole, it just makes sure that this one does not try to fight over other devices that want to pull their uh, DIO line low. Now, if we want to uh, participate in the parallel pole and, and uh, pull the DIO um, line that corresponds to our HP address low, then we have to drive that uh, transistor. And we do that by getting the output of this, so it's the, the P, and we uh, we combine this with one of the Arduino pins. So if both of them are low, then this is going to be high, and that is going to cause the uh, transistor to pull the uh, DIO line low. So it's going to allow the so it's going to pull it low. And here I have hardwired it into B4. So this is the DIO. Uh, 5 line which for, uh, corresponds to HP address 3 they go the other way around uh, so whenever the Arduino is, is, is ready it pulls pin 51 low when the Arduino is not ready it leaves this high so the parallel pole will go through and the, the, the DIO line 5 will not be pulled low, so the controller will know that the Arduino is not ready for more data. So that's all there is to it. It's a very simple um, design, although as you can see it's got a, a lots of wires uh, that need to connect the, uh, uh, the Arduino pins to the uh, to the two chips and then the two chips need to be connected to the HPIB um, bus so it, it requires a fair bit of uh, of uh, soldering now if you're wondering what is this cable connecting the shield to the prototype board well the thing is that the uh, Ethernet shield uh, has a pass-through connector here for the uh, SPI bus. Now, unfortunately, I hadn't realized that, and I put a chip right where the pass-through connector should have gone. So when I when I came to install the uh, Ethernet uh, shield, I found out there was no way that this would fit because that connector would hit the, the chip. So I took it out. I took it out and replaced it with a, with a bunch of uh, uh, pins. Um, and that meant that I had to find a way to connect that to the uh, prototype board. But um, luckily it has another connector there. Alternatively, since the uh, Mega has uh, the SPI bus in these connectors, I could have connect. I could have uh, run wires from here to here, as well. Um, another problem was that um, when I put that that uh, bus, I hadn't realized that it would uh, cover these uh, lines. So when I when I tried to put the shield in, um, it would bump against this connector, and that. And these would uh, uh, its its pins would would not reach there, so I took them out. So they are not really used for the Arduino; they're just passed through by, by the the shield. They're just passed through, so I removed these pins. Uh, however, these two of them are needed: one for 
the select pin for the for the Ethernet shield and the other one for the for the flash. So they have so the, this side has to uh, to be around for the Ethernet to be um, to to function. So I want to close this presentation by acknowledging where I got uh, some aspects of the design. For example, uh, these two uh, NOR gates, I got them from from this guy. This is a picture, actually, it's not the real card. Um, from um, um, from the 98624 uh, HPIB adapter. I'm going to zoom in and then you can see uh, here the two NOR gates. So the design is very similar to mine. It's got the 160 for the data bus and the 162 for the control lines and we see here the uh, uh, the EOI and the ATN signals fed to a NOR gate which is then fed to another NOR gate and this feeds the P uh, pin of the 160. The second part that uh, I took from a previous design is the discrete transistor here uh, which I took from a very appropriate source the series 80 HPIB controller and we see it right there um, it's getting the the signal it passes it through a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the discrete transistor and we, if we follow the line it goes up to a jumper block uh, leading to the uh, let me go there so here is the jumper block and on the low side are the uh, data lines. So this uh, just indicates that it's worth uh, looking at older designs because uh, these guys knew their stuff. Thank you.